Back to tracking the tropics and the disturbance in the Gulf that Frank has been following. People all along the coast are being warned about the safety risk of high rip currents. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas live at Surfside in Brazoria County with the message from law enforcement tonight. And Bill, how do those conditions look right now? Well, warnings have been posted throughout the area. You can see the warning flag there is orange, expected to be red by tomorrow. Because the National Weather Service says there will be elevated seas above normal tides and a high rip current. Amid the dark skies and crashing waves, there was laughter. We're just out here enjoying the weather. It's not too hot. Nice little cloud cover. Families are making the most of the less than ideal conditions at Surfside Beach. I was a little worried about it. We brought his life jacket and we're keeping him about, you know, no further than like 10 feet away from us. Ginny Rhodes was out for a walk and monitoring the situation. I don't go in the water. Um, the only time I go in the water is with my husband. And even him, he he wouldn't come out here in this. Police also watching closely since there's no lifeguard on duty at Surfside. Police Chief Gary Phillips tells us there's been two drownings this year. The most recent one just two weeks ago. We've had one one gentleman that his kids were out there swimming, and uh, they started yelling. They, the ripped current started getting them, and they started being drug out. He went out there to rescue them. They come in and he got swept out. The Galveston Island Beach Patrol tells us they too expect to be busy this weekend. To avoid any danger involving the rip current, they suggest you stay away from structures, pay attention to the warnings and flags, keep a close eye on your children, and stay close to shore. If you ever are caught in one, what you want to do is just relax and float as best you can. If you can just tread water, if you're a really good swimmer or you're comfortable in it, you would want to swim parallel to shore in the direction of breaking wave. Again, folks we talked to said they could already feel a difference while in the water today. So first responders, again, just asking folks to use their best judgment if they head out to the beach this weekend. Live from Surfside, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News. Thank you, Bill. Just